Good morning. Today, we're going to deal with a problem with momentum. I'm Gabriel Mel, and this is Physics with the Experts. <clears throat> so here's our problem. Cletus is driving a 5,000 kilogram bulldozer on a closed off street at a velocity of 40 meters per second. As a prank, his friend cuts his brakes and there is no friction or air resistance to slow the bulldozer down. Cletus can only pull the emergency parking brake when he slows down to a speed of 2 meters per second or lower. If his only way to decrease his speed is to run and stick to 1 kilogram garden gnomes on the street, how many garden gnomes must he hit before he can pull the emergency brake? Okay, so <clears throat> as with any physics problem, our first step should be to draw a sketch. So here we have the 5,000 kilogram bulldozer moving at 40 meters per second down the street. Then we can imagine that he runs into the first garden gnome, now moving a little bit slower, runs into the second garden gnome, moving a little bit slower, and so on. Every time he'll be moving a little bit slower, and we want to know how many of these collisions it takes to take us all the way down to 2 meters per second, because at that point he can pull the emergency parking brake. <clears throat> So, let's write the general equation that we're going to be using, which is conservation of momentum. <clears throat> Initial and final momentums must be equal, and this is before and after any number of collisions. <clears throat> momentum is given by mass times velocity in both cases. Uh, we use mass initial and mass final because mass actually will be changing <clears throat> when they stick to the bulldozer. Third step, let's fill in the variables and solve. So the initial momentum, which we'll find first, is just the momentum of the bulldozer, which has a mass of 5,000 kilograms and a velocity of 40 meters per second. Multiplying, we get 200,000 kilogram meters per second. Now to find P sub n, sum of P sub n. <clears throat> this is what we're gonna call the momentum of the bulldozer and stuck garden gnomes after n collisions. After n collisions, our mass is now 5,000 kilograms plus n because each garden gnome is one kilogram. So our mass will have increased to 5,000 plus n. And <clears throat> after n collisions, our velocity will have decreased to some new velocity. And so this equation tells us that after n collisions, our new mass will be 5,000 kilograms plus n times our, la our nth velocity. Multiplying the two gives us momentum. <clears throat> now, because of the law of conservation of momentum, as we know, the initial momentums must be the same as the final momentums after all the collisions by conservation of momentum. The expressions we've obtained here for initial momentum, 200,000, underlined here in red, then has to be the same as the expression we obtained here for the final momentum, which is underlined in red here, 5,000 plus n times v sub n. So we can equate these two underlined expressions for the initial and final momentum. Doing so, we get 200,000 equals 5,000 plus n times v sub n. Now, what we're looking for <clears throat> is what n has to be when v sub n, the velocity after the nth collision, is 2 meters per second. We want to know when v sub n is 2 meters per second because at that point he can pull the brake. So let's substitute that in. v sub n should be 2. 200,000 equals 5,000 plus n equals 2 times 2. This equation now will give us the n when v sub n has gone down all the way to 2 and that's exactly what we want to know. n is the number of garden gnomes and this equation is going to tell us the n when our velocity is decreased all the way to 2 meters per second. So now let's solve. Let's divide off the 2, giving us 100,000 on this side, leaving us with 5,000 plus n on this side, then subtract n equals 95,000, and once we've subtracted 5,000 from 100,000. So <clears throat> what that means is the bulldozer, which is both very heavy and moving very quickly, has to run into very many stationary garden gnomes in order to bring it down to a speed where it can stop itself. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.